discrete random variable dan juga untuk continuous random variable so today we focus on uh, discrete by variable dulu ok so kita baca sikit kat atas ni many random variables can be defined over the same sample space for example consider the experiment of tossing a pair of dice the sample space will contain 36 sample point but the dua dice kan So, the sample space will be 36, which is uh, number row. Maybe the first dice is 1, second dice is 1, so 1, 1, the first pair. The second pair will be, maybe the first dice toss is 1, the second dice toss, uh, the 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 two number 2 is up here. So, the, the pair adalah 1 and 2. So, we have 36 pair of uh, This dipanggil sample space. Okay, so any uh, any one of the following random variables could be defined over the sample space and might be of interest to the experiment. Contoh-contoh lain lah. Okay, maybe uh, we can define it as, as Y1, which is the number of dots appearing on die 1. Y2, the number of dots appearing on die 2. Y3, the sum of the number of dots on the dice. Y4, the product of the number of dots appearing on the dice. So, means that we can have a several uh, random variable can be defined from the, from the experiment of tossing a pair of dice. Okay, boleh ada, kita boleh create beberapa A random variable. Tapi uh, for your level sekarang ni kita akan buat untuk bivariate saja. Dua variable at the same time. Ok lah kita tengok contoh. Ok before that kita tengok dulu properties. Let's say kita ada dua uh, y1 and y2 will, will be the discrete variables. The join ataupun dipanggil join ataupun bivariate sebab kita ada dua random variable y1 and y2 dipanggil bivariate lah kalau lebih daripada dua itu adalah multivariate tapi so for your level uh, sehingga bivariate sahaja ok kita panggil dia sebagai join ataupun bivariate probability function for y1 and y2 ok so if y1 and y2 ni adalah discrete ok we can uh, write the uh, joint probability function as this p y1 y2 equal to p uh, y1 equal to small y1 ataupun some value of y1 and y2 equal to some value of y2 so kita akan dapatkan nilai probability untuk each of this pair of y1 and y2 y1 and y2 ni uh, can be dia punya number of y1 and y2 dia punya interval can be from negative infinity to infinity it depends pada kita punya uh, situation lah dan juga uh, apa uh, value of of our random variable y1 and y2 tadi okay, contohnya tadi uh, we tossing a pair of dice So, possible value untuk y1 and y2. y1 and y2 ni adalah random variable. Contohnya lah kan. Um, y1 and y2 here tadi adalah y1 adalah uh, number. For example lah. Y1 variable y1 adalah number of dots appearing on die 1. Y2 adalah number of dots appearing on die 2. So, uh, possible for value for y1 will be 1 until 6. Right? And the possible value for y2 will be 1 until 6 juga. Sebab y1 and y2 ni adalah the number of dots appearing on the die. So, it depends pada the situation. Because of here, that is to, uh, in our example, the the variable at last number of dots appear on the die. So, uh, the possible value for Y1 and Y2 kat sini adalah daripada 1 until 6. So, tak melibatkan negatif lah. Okay, so 
Itu yang saya cakap, it depends Pada uh, Situasi ataupun uh, Apa ni The variable itself How we define the variable Okay, the properties of uh, bivariate random variable we look at the theorem 5.1 if y1 and y2 are discrete random variables with a joint pdf okay is uh, defined as p y1 and y2 then the probability for each pair of y1 and y2 ni must be more than zero so much as belum ni lah any value of probability cannot be negative value kan it should be from zero until uh, it, it should be more than or equal to zero, but cannot be more than one. Can okay, the probability relies between uh, zero and one only? Okay, property yang kedua, the summation of all the probabilities of pairing of y1 and y2 should be one. Okay, bila kita total up all the probability uh, with pair of y1 and y2, the probability should be Okay, kita tengoklah contoh Buat example terus Okay, here Example 5.1 A local supermarket has three check-out counters Two customers arrive at the counters at different times When the counters are serving no other customer Each customer chooses a counter at random Independently of Independ independently of the other okay let y1 denote the number of customers who choose counter 1 and y2 the number who select counter 2 hmm. find the joint probability function of y1 and y2 ok sekarang kita nak buat joint probability function untuk y1 and y2 macam sebelum ni kalau a single variable ada satu saja y kan uh, untuk discrete ni macam mana you buat PDF table dia uh, this one will be the possible value for y and uh, the row here will be the probability for the possible value for y right so you can uh, contoh lah 0, 1, 2 and you will find the probability for each of this possible value and total of of all of this uh, probability will be 1 totalnya should be 1 ini untuk single ok sekarang untuk double untuk uh, bivariate ada dua uh, variable ok so it will be dia punya table will be like this y1 y2 here will be the possible value untuk y1 here will be the possible value untuk y2 and then we need to find all the probability for each pair of y1 and y2. And total on of this probability will be 1. Totalnya, total probability will be 1. We total up semua sekali, dia akan dapat 1. Okay, tengok balik this example. First thing first, sebelum nak create this table, kena tahu dulu what is your variable y1 and y2 and its possible value. I erase this one first. So first of all, y1 adalah the number of customers who choose counter 1. So, the possible value for y, for y1 adalah, okay, the possible value for y1 will be, okay, dia punya random variable, y1 adalah number of customers who choose counter 1. Okay, kita punya situasi sekarang ni, two customer arrive at the counter. So, the possible value uh, for the number of customers will choose counter 1 will be, Zero, maybe zero customer will choose counter one, maybe one customer, maybe two customer. Cannot be more than two, sebab kita hanya ada dua customer sahaja. Y2 pula adalah the number of the customer who select counter two. So, the possible value for Y2 will be also one, zero, one and 
maybe zero customer will select counter two maybe one customer maybe two customer maybe both of the customer will, will uh, select counter two okay so kita punya uh, table will be like this y1 and y2 0 1 2 0 1 2 now kita nak cari macam mana nak dapatkan nilai probability nak dapatkan nilai probability dalam table ni ha, so how how can we calculate this ok ok dia cerita tadi dalam eksperimen ni ada two card customer ok uh, going to the three counters ada dua customer three counters so macam mana nak cari nilai probability y kita nak cari probability of p 0 0 means that probability of of uh, zero customer at counter 2 zero customer at counter 1 zero customer at counter 1 zero customer at counter 2 so maybe the customer both of the customer will be going to the third counter Okay, the sample space will be like this lah. Maybe one one maksudnya. Uh, okay, one one means that the customer going to the first counter, second customer pun first counter. This one maybe juga first customer pergi kepada first counter uh, sorry one customer going to the first counter and then uh, the customer will be going to the second counter Maybe first customer, first counter here. Maybe the second customer going to the third counter. This one, maybe first customer going to the second counter. And then second customer going to the first counter. Here, 2-2 two, two means that first customer going to second counter. Second customer pun going to uh, second counter. This one, second customer uh, first customer going to second counter second customer going to third counter this one first customer third counter second customer first counter this one sehingga tiga tiga so probability of zero zero means that kita nak dapatkan probability when uh, zero customer going to first counter and zero customer also going to the second counter means that the customer both of the customer going to the third counter. Kedua-duanya ke third counter. Okay, so kita nak cari nilai probability. Okay, lepas ini kita selesai. Okay. Under the assumption given earlier, each sample point is equally likely and has the probability of 1 over 9. Sebab kita ada sembilan sample space dekat sini so each of the each of the event here will have the probability of 1 over 9 ok so probability of 0, 0 will, it will be uh, 3, 3 in the event of 3, 3 so it will be 1 over 9 How about uh, 0, 1? P01 means that 0, count, uh, 0 customer passes through counter 1 and 1 customer passes through counter 2. Mm -hmm. So it will be which event? It will be uh, 0 customer at the first counter 
and the one customer at counter two. So maybe here, this one. Zero customer at counter one. Right? P zero is that zero customer at counter one and one customer at counter two. So it will be this one and this one. Right? So one over nine plus one over nine will be two over nine. one plus P02 so, zero customer at counter one and two customer at counter two it will be two two so one over nine P10 is that one customer at counter 1 and zero customer at counter 2. Okay, one customer at counter 1. So which one? Okay, one customer at counter 1. One customer at counter one and zero customer at counter two. So this one and this one. Right? So it will be one over nine plus one over nine. So it will be two over nine. Okay, how about P one one? Means that one customer at counter one and one customer at counter. Okay, one customer at counter one and one customer at counter two here and here. So one over nine plus one over nine, two over nine. Kenapa dekat sini zero? P one and two. Okay, probability of getting one customer at counter one and two customer at counter two. Tak boleh lah. Sebab dia akan jadi tiga kat sini. Sedangkan kita hanya ada dua customer sahaja. So because of that, the probability here will be zero. Sama juga dengan sini. It will be zero sebab uh, it not possible lah. Uh, kita menetapkan probability of one customer, uh, sorry, two customer at counter one and one customer at counter uh, two. Okay, not possible. Sebab kita hanya ada dua customer sahaja. Okay, this one pula. Last kali. Probability of uh, Y1 is 2. Y2 is 0. Miss that. Probability of getting two customer at counter one and zero customer at counter two. This one lah. So it will be 1 over 9. Okay. So uh, you can hati-hati lah waktu uh, when you get, when you uh, read the case study. First thing first, determine what is the variable. What is the random variable for Y1 and Y2. And find the possible value untuk Y1 and Y2. Then from that, you create the table. Okay, bila you dah create the table, you need to find the probability for each pair of uh, Y1 and Y2. 
So at this part, kita kena tengok untuk cari nilai probability. And of course, untuk nak check balik you punya whether betul tak you punya uh, this uh, PDF tab, uh, uh, probability density uh, function you table ni, PDF table you ni betul ke tidak, nak double check, you total up all the probability kat dalam ni, should be 1. Okay, that is the purpose. Alright. Okay. Okay, I go a little bit about the distribution function ataupun dipanggil cumulative, right? Cumulative. Okay, konsep yang sama macam sebelum ni kan? Untuk dapatkan FY1 sebelum ni. Konsepnya adalah property, sorry, FY saja. If we have one um, random variable kan? FY will be property of Y less than or equal to Y. Kan? Kalau discrete, you add up all the uh, value tak possible value y ni lah kalau cari f1 contohnya it will be property of y less than or equal to 1 so total up daripada ketika 0 ke sehingga 1 so, so konsep yang sama ok konsep yang sama so this one untuk nak cari distribution function for uh, join discrete okay. it will be property of y1 less than or equal to some value of y1 and y2 less than or equal to some value of y2 cuma bezanya sekarang ni kita kena tengok dia punya pairing lah uh, serentak ok sima of pairing for example kita jadi macam ni lah right this one t less than or equal to so contohnya uh, for the same example, for die tossing experiment, let's say nak cari the distribution function for F23. So, means that property of Y1 less than or equal to 2 and Y2 less than or equal to 3 simultaneously. So, it will be the pairing of Y property of 1, 1, property of 1, 2, property of 1, 3. Okay, it's about less than 1. Eh, sorry, less than or equal to 2. So, maybe uh Maybe 1 and 2. Oh, sorry, this one is not about the... Okay, okay, okay. This is not this experiment actually. Yang ni adalah untuk experiment yang ke atas ni. Uh, saya, tak, saya tak explain about this tadi. Experiment yang ni. Uh, yang ni kalau dia... Tossing a die. Okay, yang ni kalau tossing a die. Not the counter tadi. This one is kalau kita tossing a die, the possible value kan? Uh, tadi. 1, 6, 1, 6 kan? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six tadi. Okay, so less than, kalau less than, less than or equal to 2 untuk Y1, so it will be uh, 1 and 2. Untuk Y1, maybe 1 and 2. Untuk Y3, maybe 1, 2, 3. So because of that, the pairing will be 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 2, and 2, 3. So how to get all this probability yang kat dalam ni lah. Hmm, yang kat dalam ni yang kita ambil di sini. Just add up all the nilai probability, then you will get. 6 over 36 ataupun 1 over 6 ok this one yang daripada example kita tadi example 5.1 from example 5.1 find distribution function capital F dipanggil distribution function atau cumulative kan distribution function of 1 and 2 means that nak cari property of y less than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 2 kenapa ianya 0 Sebab ada tak less than ada tak nilai negatif daripada sini tadi tak ada kan? So because of that value that untuk y2 pula okay untuk y2 less than or equal to two less than or equal to two ada untuk y2 tetapi kita tak ada pairing untuk y1 tu less than uh, one so because of that nilai probabilitynya is zero. Okay, untuk 
1.5 and 2, it will be less than or equal to 1.5 and y less than 2. So less than or equal to 1.5, so it means that uh, maybe 0 and 1. Lah. But you can draw any like possible value to y1 is 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. Possible value untuk y2 is also 0, 1 and 2. So here can be, y1 can be 0 and 1. And y2 can be 0, 1, 2. Okay. So total up nilai probability tadi. Saya akan dapat A over the same goes to this for example okay this one to continuous kita nak masuk lagi untuk continuous saya nak tunjuk untuk marginal sikit oh tak ada dah okay okay marginal pernah dengar perkataan marginal Okay, kalau by variate, kita boleh dapatkan marginal. Maksudnya, marginal ni adalah uh, probability density function untuk y1 and y2 itself. Hmm, kalau macam tadi, this one, kita tulisnya sebagai Okay, kita akan tulisnya sebagai P Y1 equal to possible value of Y1 and Y2 equal to possible value of Y2 kan? untuk setiap ni. Okay, kita boleh dapatkan uh, apa function of ataupun kita boleh tulis jadi macam ni lah Y1 and Y2. Okay, so daripada sini kita boleh dapatkan the PDF untuk untuk Y1 itself and untuk Y2 itself ok so maksudnya kita, ini dipanggil marginal kita boleh dapatkan uh, PDF untuk Y1 dan PDF untuk Y2, ini dipanggil marginal, how to find the marginal if you can remember saya nak sebutkan daripada table ni Okay, daripada table ni okay, daripada table we can create the other column this one is y2 kat sini so here will be y2 uh, hash y2 lah maksudnya kan saya buat, kan nak buat f pun boleh tak ada masalah nak buat p pun boleh tak ada masalah hash tu just nak Uh, apa nak nak na, notation untuk marginal saja. Okay, so hash y2 will be the total up uh, this row untuk uh, y2 the total will be 4 over 9 untuk y1 the total will be also 4 over 9 Uh, untuk Y2 The total will be 1 over 9 So means that here Kat sini ni adalah hash Y2 equal to 0 Adalah 4 over 9 This one untuk adalah untuk hash Y2 equal to 1 This one hash Y2 2 equal to 2 This part pula Kita boleh buat another row Jadi GY1 Tak kisah juga lah You nak buat FY1 pun Tak ada masalah Ini hanya dipanggil marginal Marginal untuk uh, Y10 Will be 4 over 9 Which is we total up all this column Here will be 4 over 9 Here will be 1 over 9 Bila you total up all this probability Untuk marginal ni Kedua-dua marginal Err uh, 
So, daripada situ juga kita boleh create another table. Dipanggil marginal. Daripada nanti. Okay, we can create another table. For example. We can create the table. The marginal table, let's say y2, hash y2, 0, 1 and 2, 4 over 9, 4 over 9, 1 over 9. Marginal table untuk oh, PDF table untuk y1, g y1, the possible value is 0, 1, 2, 4 over 9, 4 over 9 and 1 over 9. So, daripada uh, join PDF ni, by variable PDF table, we can create the marginal uh, probability function ataupun table. Okay. So, daripada sini, we can uh, also can find the mean and the variance, kan? Sama cara macam sebelum. Uh, kan dah sebab dah ada table ni, dah ada value on the table, ni, all the value of probability, boleh nak cari mean, nak cari variance untuk Y2 and untuk Y1 itself separately. Okay, look at one example. This one, see mine. Okay, let's see. Kalau, kalau kali ini kan, ada bagi table. Ini adalah discrete, the join, uh, join discrete probability density function for random variable x dan y so daripada sini kita boleh dapatkan marginal nak marginal kan just so just uh, create the table hash x contohnya ya total up this tree 630 total up this tree dia akan dapat 20 sama juga this one can create the g1 of 1, 2 sorry, no, no, sorry, sorry this is not hash x hash y, right belong to this this one is gx ok, total of all this akan dapatlah marginal right Okay, this time kita try for the last one. Okay, let's say the experiment is to roll one red die and one blue die. Let the random variable x and y be defined as follows. First thing first, define the x and y. Okay, x adalah the number showing on the red die. And Y are the number of dice that shows the number 6. The number of dice that shows number 6. Okay. So, cuba cari dulu possible value untuk each of this random variable. Possible value for X. The number that show on the red die. The possible val uh, number will show in the, on the red die. Maybe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Right? The possible value untuk Y pula adalah The number of dice that shows the number 6 Berapa dice that shows the number of 6 So it may be 0 dice Shows number of 6 Maybe 1 dice Maybe 2 dice Setakat tu saja sebab kita hanya ada 2 dice Red dan blue Ada 2 dice Roll together Okay, for example, dekat, dekat sini, the red, if the red shows 6, and the blue shows 2. Okay, bila kita rollkan uh, red and blue dice together, kita dapat red shows 6, and blue shows 2. So, it means that X adalah 6, sebab it shows number 6, kan? So, X is the number showing on the red die, is, which is 6, and... The number of the uh, and uh, y pula adalah uh, 
how many number of drives that shows the number of six, which is one, which is three. Uh, right there. So it will be six eight one. So this box below shows two. So it will be six eight one. Construct the joint PDF mass function. Okay, table. Okay, construct the table showing the joint permitting function for us. So, daripada sini, kita akan create lah table tadi tu. Table tadi, tak ada masalah nak create. Dah ada possible value. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 0, 1, 2. So, sekarang ni, kena cari nilai each of uh, the probability each of the pair of x. Eh? So, the experimentnya adalah roll red die and blue die together roll red die and blue die together ok ok ni tadi I buat I, I dah explain ok rupanya tak record ok so um, so kita nak cari probability for each pair of x and y x tadi adalah number of the number showing on the red die so maybe 1 maybe number 2 maybe number 3 uh, until number 6 y pula adalah number of die shows number 6 berapa bilangan das yang uh, yang dapat number 6 on the die ok so how to get the probability ok uh, this one let's say uh, this one uh, first first toss adalah red die second toss adalah blue dice so the combination of red and blue dice here will be 1 1 maybe 1 2 maybe 1 3 1 4 1 6 1 1 5 1 6 or untuk yang kedua pula maybe 2 1 maybe 2 2 sehinggalah until 6 6 right so uh, the pair of this event Oh, sorry, the pair of this uh, combination of red red uh, dice and blue dice adalah event. Uh, the probability nya adalah 1 over 36. Dia punya sample space ada 36. Kan? All together. Sehingga 1-1 uh, sehingga 6-6. All together. Dia punya sample space adalah 36. So, uh, probability of each of this uh, pair adalah 1 over 36. Okay, let's say kita nak dapatkan probability of 1 and 0. Saya so, kita dapat probability of 1, 0. 1, 0 means that number 1 show on the red die. So, all of this co uh, combination, kan? All of this combination sebab number 1 uh, number 1 uh, shows on the red die and 0 does shows number 6. Uh, Di antara kedua-dua ni, 0 dice shows number 6. So, it will be uh, 5 lah. 5 here. The first 5 here. So, the probability will be 5 over 36. The, this one pula, 2, 0 pula pun sama. 2 maksudnya, number show, showing number 2 on the red die. And 0 means that 0 number of dice shows number 6. 0 dice shows number 6. So, uh, it will be 5 over 36 juga ok, this one pun 3 3 0 pun 5 over 36 4 0 pun 5 over 36 5 0 pun 5 over 36 and then uh, 6 0 pula, kenapa 0 6 0 is not possible sebab uh, 6, 6 maksudnya number showing on the red die is number 6 uh, Y pula adalah number of dice shows number 6 Hmm, so not possible lah kan combination nya will be this one and one until, uh, sorry uh, 6 1 until 6 6 uh, because of the combination contain number 6 so uh, here is not possible so the property will be 0 1 1 pula maksudnya uh, here 1 1 number 1 shows on the red die and 1 and 1 
number of dice shows number 6. So it will be 1 and 6. 1, 6. So 1 over 36. Kat sini pun, it will be 2, 6. So 1 over 36. This one, 3, 1. The combination will be 3, 6. The probability will be 1 over 36. 1 over 36, 1 over 36. And 6, 1 pula. 6, 1, 6 appear kan? on the pair of combination this. <coughs> so, uh, 6, 1, 1 maksudnya 1, y1 equal, uh, I miss that. Uh, 1 die, 1, uh, 1 dice contain will appear number 6. So it will be 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, which is 5 over 30. 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, and 5, 2 is not possible. Sebab apa? Sebab y equal to 2. Maksudnya, uh, y equal to 2 means that y equal to 2 maksudnya number of dice shows 2 number of dice shows number 6 not possible lah sebab kat sini x1 kan uh, number showing on the red die is 1 so not possible untuk uh, x 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and y equal to 2 but Untuk 6, 2 is possible, which is the pair adalah 6, 6. Okay. So, number of dice shows number 6. Okay. Bila total up, nak check balik, you total up all the probability here. You can dapat 36 over 36. Okay, and then to find the marginal of each of these acts. Just copy balik all the possible value for x and then total up all the uh, probability uh, from each apa ni, column of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 so you can cut macam dua jadi so, letak p kan letak h kan letak y kan tak ada masalah ok this one untuk y pun sama total row total kan row Okay, so you can look at this version. Okay, so that's one. Two, three, then.